Hey everyone, my name is Murphy and this is Murphy's Law, the series where if anything that can go wrong, I can solve. So today, we're going to be talking about this software called EasyCAD 2. I have been working with this specific program for about seven years. With the rise of fiber laser marking, EasyCAD 2 has been one of the most popular programs to use. Today, I will show you the basics of how to use this program for our fiber markers. Things like how to manually update drivers, how to import a file, hatch and what it means, how to set your parameters for speed, power, and frequency. Lastly, how to frame. Once you follow these steps, you should have a product that is similar to this. Now, keep in mind, my material and laser settings might get you different results, but this should give you an idea on how to use it so you can get the results that you're looking for. Before we begin, if you want to know more about our products, or if you have a problem with your laser, please let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get started. Hey everyone, so what we're gonna do here today is we're gonna get EasyCAD going. Now the first thing we have to do is update the driver for the machine or else EasyCAD will not work. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to our device manager. And we're doing this to make sure that our device is connected to the computer. Here's our list of devices, and here is my fiber marker, USB LMC V4. So now we're going to go ahead and close this out. And I'm going to go into the folder for the software. Now, you should have this folder in the flash drive that came with the machine. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. Double click driver, double click USB driver, and double click Win 7 10 64. Now we're going to click on LMC V4U. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it and click install. Now this should install the driver for the machine and allow us to use EasyCAD. After that's done, we're going to close this box out. I'm going to go back into my device manager and make sure that it worked. Now we're going to know it works because we're going to find that our USB LMC V4 device is now a BJJCZ device. And when we double click that, it's going to say Laser Mark Control Board V4. And if we double click that further, it should say that this device is working properly. So now we can go ahead and hit OK, close our device manager, go back into the folder that's provided with the flash drive double click software and scroll down to EasyCAD 2 and it should open up like this at this point if you want to pause and catch up we can pick it up as soon as we're back now that we have EasyCAD open we're gonna go ahead and import our graphic now the way to go about that is we're gonna go over here to the top left corner and click file and there's two import file types. There's import vector file for your DXFs and your SVGs. And there's also import bitmap for your JPEGs and your PNGs. But I'm going to go ahead and click import vector file because I am going to import a DXF file, which is right down here, omtech.dxf. So click on that and hit open. Now, sometimes it does populate outside of your workspace, so I'm going to zoom out, and there it is right up here. So I'm going to click and drag it into my workspace. I'm also going to scale it down and center it. And there's our graphic. Now that we have our graphic in here, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and click on it. And we're going to go up to the top toolbar here and click on our hatch button. Now hatch is another word for engrave or fill. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And that's going to open our hatch box. And we just want to make sure that we have enable turned on. We can leave our scan angle at zero. And line space of 0.5 is OK. So usually these defaults are OK. So we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, now we have a filled image. 
the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to the right hand side of EasyCAD. We're going to uncheck this use default program and we're going to change our speed, power, and frequency. So we're going to do a speed of 1000 millimeters per second, about 50%, and we'll just do 20 kilohertz frequency. At this point, we are ready to frame this out and run it. You can pause the video at this point if you want to take a moment and then we can catch up after. Now that we have our graphic ready with our hatch settings and our engrave settings, we're going to go ahead and click on red F1. Now red F1 is frame, so at this point you should be seeing a rectangular red box coming out of your gavel head. At this point you can line things up, you can rescale things if you have to, but if everything looks okay and it does on my end, we can go ahead and hit stop and hit mark. Now that we are finished with our project, let's take a look. As you can see, the laser perfectly did what I told it to do. Now keep in mind, if yours is not looking exactly like mine, it could be multiple reasons. For example, it could be different settings on your machine, or your material is different. Now this is a lot of information that I just threw at you. While this can look very stressful, I can promise you that if you take a deep breath, take a break, and watch this video again, you can also be a natural using this program. Now for the people that want to get more involved into laser engraving, you can check out our tutorial of Lightburn, which will be in the description down below. With that in mind, I hope this helps in your future engraving projects. Like I said before, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. My name is Murphy, and this is Murphy's Law.